Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Andrea and this is Beauty with Andy. So this is quite an exciting video today. I've been wanting to do this for, I want to say months. I don't know how many months it is, but it is months. I've been using these I Heart Makeup palettes and um, I've just been wanting to give you like a mini review, like and um, tell you what my favourite to least favourite is so it least favourite to favourite eyeshadow palette is um, so it's all these two here and um, that we're going to be pulling I think there's eight in total um, so yeah let's get into it as I don't want this video to be extra long so once I've gone through these I think there are a couple at least I can declutter then we can put these here um, where they were so yeah let's get into it some of them are just really really old and they just need to be put in the bin um, I can't re I don't really feel comfortable giving them to anyone just because they are so old so let's get into my least favorite two favorite I hope makeup chocolate palettes and I'll tell you why I don't like them um, and why I do like them so yeah let's get into this game. right guys so I do have eight I heart makeup um, chocolate bars so it says a four I do have eight but I do have one of the newer ones I've got the I heart makeup no it's called I heart revolution coffee um, palette but I've not really used that enough to put it in here and um, so to give it a ranking so I've not had that a long time I've only had it a few weeks so the first one the one that I really really don't like um, is this one and there's a lot of reasons why I don't like it see I hide makeup pink fizz and I got this one because it was a dupe for the Too Faced Bomb Bomb palette um, and I didn't want to pay all that money out for the Bomb Bomb palette before I tried this so um, I wanted to try this one first and it just looks like that um, it is pretty don't get me wrong it's just they're just not my type of eyeshadows um, and I just don't think I got on well with it that's the um, that shade there that matte I loved and I've used that the most what shade is that drink um, other than that there's not really a lot of like I've not really touched it an awful lot I used it um, when I was testing out the products to see which where it would rank in this video but other than that it's not really had a lot of use um, so yeah I mean what are the pigmentation my niece would love this palette because it's pink It looks okay, but I, I think it's too old to give to her. So, uh, yeah, I don't really want to give her an eyeshadow palette that's this old. Um, I've got some other eyeshadow palettes that aren't this old in the collection. So, she might be able to take one of these. I mean, she's only 10 years old. I don't want to be giving her a nasty eye infection off an eyeshadow palette that I've had a couple of... Well, I've probably had this more than a couple of years, if I'm being honest. Probably more like three um years so yeah i don't want to give her that that one's being decluttered then another one that's being decluttered is this one so this is second fav second least favorite should i say you see i hope makeup naked chocolate um and i would have thought this would have been right up my street this is what it looks like and the only shade i like in this palette guys well i like the mattes, the mattes are really nice, they blend out really well. The shimmers are just crumbly, but that could be from age. Um, but the only... I was going through it the other day and I was thinking I'd love to take that eyeshadow out, but it's probably more hassle than it's worth to even depot it. Um, but yeah, that is a pretty gold. Pretty, 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 and very, very pigmented. Don't know if the camera is going to pick it up. But yeah, I really, really like that. But I'm not going to just keep the palette just for one eyeshadow. So again, another one being decluttered. Um, I think this is going to be a relatively short video because um, I'm not going to do swatches on everything um, just because I'm decluttering them. So I don't really see the point on doing swatches. 
The next one up is a recent one that I've been using in a shop, my stash. I think it was only a couple of weeks ago I pulled this. And it's the I Heart Makeup Golden Bar. And for a start, the clasp is broken. Yeah, the clasp is broken, so it's, I don't know, it's a bit, it's not great, is it? But this is what it looks like. Again, another beautiful eyeshadow palette. Um, but they're all shimmer eyeshadows. There is no mattes in here at all. Um, I do like the, the gold tones here. And I did like, what shade was it? Yeah, I liked foil and golden, and I liked this edible shade here. Um, but I don't want to, again, just keep it for those shades. So that one will be getting decluttered. Now, this is one of the newer eyeshadow palettes, so I probably could pass that on to her. But the clasp is broken, so I'm going to be seeing her on Saturday, and I'll ask her if she wants it. But I'll just tell her to be careful with it because the clasp is a little bit broken. Um, but this one is, like I said, one of the newer ones in the collection. Um, and I don't want it. So that's just three that I've got rid of. I don't think there are any more that I'm going to be getting rid of. Sorry about that. My nose was just running like crazy. Um, next one up. So the fourth least palette that I liked was this one. This Death by Chocolate. And I'm really, really surprised at this. Um, just because I was really, really liking it. Um, but some of the shades are really crumbly again. Um, and there are just a few eyeshadows that I like. Um, I liked the mattes again in this palette. They blended out quite well. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's not worth keeping hold of. I do want to keep hold of at least one cool toned eyeshadow palette. Um, but this isn't it guys and again I might ask my niece if she wants it because it is on the newer side um, in fact I might just the clasp isn't broken on this one um, I might just ask if she wants this one um, it's just a little bit of makeup um, for her to practice with so yeah so we've actually got four four palettes out of the eight that's 50% that's half of my I Heart makeup um, palettes that we're going to be decluttering which is amazing um, right so let's talk about <coughs> right I'm, I'm choking because I'm getting excited um, let's talk about the ones that I like but are still in that category of being least favourite to favourite so there's this one I Heart Makeup Salted Caramel. Now I've done a video with this. I did one ha one eye using Too Faced. Um, what was it called? Too Faced. I did one eye using Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar. Um, so we all know what it looks like. But let me show you. Oh, that smells lush. Um, so that looks like that. I'm going to open them both so you can see it. And then one eye using this one. And I actually prefer this one, guys, to be honest. At some point, I might even declutter the Too Faced Semi Sweet. I know, crazy, right? Um, but look at how similar they are. They, that's just, sorry, the mirrors in your, in your eyes. <laughs> um, but that's just crazy how similar they are. really crazy uh, but yeah I actually really liked this one more and I'll tell you the reason why the pink one in this pink sugar is like foiled and every time I, I want to use it which isn't often because I don't really wear pink eyeshadow often but now every now and again I want to use it I like I have to scrape the top layer off then also the blue um, blueberry swirl isn't as pigmented as the one in the I Heart makeup palette so I'm gonna keep it for now I know we're not supposed to be talking about this but I'm gonna keep it for now um, but I think eventually I will be decluttering that and just keeping this one so Again, salted caramel. So this is in, is it fifth place? Yeah, fifth place. 
Um, so then sixth place is this one. I really, really like this one, but I've got a couple more that I like more, so that's why it only came in sixth place. So we've got the I Heart Makeup Chocolate and Peaches palette here, and this is a dupe for the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette, I believe. Well, I know because I've had both of them and I sold my Sweet Peach palette um, and I bought this one just because it's cheaper and I actually prefer this more. So, yeah, that's staying in the collection. The only thing I don't like is the plastic sheets that are on it that tell you the names of the eyeshadows, but um, Makeup Revolution, I've gone away from that now, which I really, really do appreciate. And then in seventh place we've got this one this one had to be you know like either the winner or runner up so this is seventh place and it's the i heart makeup chocolate rose gold palette such a beautiful palette and it reminds me of the huda palette so so much i don't know about formulas um because i've not got any the only huda palettes i've got are the small ones um electric obsessions and that green palette um, Emerald Obsessions but yeah I really really like this it's a stunning palette so that for sure is staying in the collection um, and then Favourite is a newer one to the collection when I say new I've, I've had it probably about a year now um, and it's this one um, it's the Lemon Drizzle and it looks like it's um, the what was that one called looks like it's the Naked Chocolate the palettes look pretty much similar apart from Obviously that bit's a little bit darker. So I'm glad I'm going to be getting the Naked Chocolate out of the collection so then I won't get confused. I was always getting confused and going for the wrong palette. Um, and then this is what it looks like. It is a stunning palette and you've got all the names on so you don't have to have that horrible plastic shape. But yeah, I absolutely love it. This shade here is crazy pigmented look at that guys let me just do a swatch of that whenever i get this palette out i always do do the swatch for that and it's, there's no patchiness on it at all it is just absolutely stunning um what else shall i do you a swatch of lemon sl lemon slice that is a bit patchy but it blends out really nice as you can see there and we'll do one last shimmer. We'll do fluffy, which is the yellow. These are my favourite shades. So. Just look at that one, guys. That one is absolutely amazing. Um, so, yeah, it's just a short and sweet video to tell you what I'm going to be decluttering. Actually, I think there are a couple more Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palettes I can declutter from the collection. So let's go over to the drawers. So, right, so we're getting rid of four and we're keeping four. So let me show you again. Right, so we're getting rid of four. Can you, can, can you even see them? four and keeping four um so that's pretty good right um so we should have a bit more room in the collection now because look at all that room it was taking up and i just don't i don't i'm not going to wear them again so yes a couple might be going to my niece if she wants them and a couple are definitely being decluttered um definitely the um pink fizz and the naked chocolate ones are going in the bin i'm going to pop them in the bin now just because they're not any good um and the other two i'll just speak to her and see what she wants to do um so yeah let's go back over to my makeup drawers and i'll show you the ones that i'm also going to declutter so i think there's about six eyeshadow palettes that we're going to declutter today which isn't a lot granted um but you know it will just free up a little bit more room in my eyeshadow collection so let's just go over and do that now right so this is what it's looking like now it, there's so much space and there's probably enough room for another two palettes there but i'm not going to buy another two palettes just because there's room for it um these are the 
and I think they're called Reloaded Palettes. Yeah, the Reloaded Palettes. I've not even used most of them. This one's a newer one to the collection. It looks beautiful. So I'm going to be using that soon. But at the moment, well, I shot my stash videos. I'm going to take a break from Revolution just because all my other eyeshadow palettes are just getting overlooked and yeah I just think I want a break from Revolution products for at least a couple of weeks and then we'll crack on to maybe these palettes at the back and just test them out and maybe we can declutter some of them as well. There's just no need for all these eyeshadow palettes that I have. Right so these are the two. Um, I don't know what to do with this one because it's an all matte eyeshadow palette. Um, I think I might just declutter it into the bin. I don't think it's too grown up for my niece this um, because it's full of mattes. Um, but she might want want it to just play around with. Um, so that there's that one, and then there's this one. This one's really cute, see. So I'll um, I'll give her that one. I think. Look at the little heart there. Yeah, so I'll give her that one. Um, but I'm not too sure about the other one. So that's six palettes already that are going. And I've just thought about one that I haven't even tried yet. I got it from TK Maxx a while back. And I know I probably won't use it. Um, so that's in the bottom drawer. So let's just go right, down so it's to just that. one of these models own palettes. So it's this one that you need to clean before I even think about passing it on. The eyeshadows have come from that one because that one is all smashed up and that's what's making me not want to use it. Uh, I got it from my birthday last year and it came all smashed. Um, so yeah, let's open this one up. Can't open it, just... Right, so I've not even used this palette. I know it looks like I have, I've just swatched it. Um, and I'm not going to leave it in the eyeshadow collection. I've got other colourful palettes now so I don't need to use this. I'm going to clean it up and I'll pass it on to my niece. I think she'd really like it because it's nice and colourful. Um, so yeah, I think she'll really, really like this palette. Um, so yeah, obviously it needs a really good clean. So that's seven. I don't think there are any more palettes that I don't want. this one I actually quite like that one there's this one hmm yeah I'll get rid of that as well side I don't I think these are all the higher end ones Too Faced and um, Urban Decay yeah I'm not getting rid of any of them um, and they're like I've got the old Chan XO and the new one and then I've got a BH Cosmetics one here um, BH there what I want to keep and then my Deuce ones um, so I'm in my Zulu ones, so I don't want to get rid of any of that. Um, to be honest, I didn't think I'd be getting rid of all of these. So we've got, was it six? Let's check. Right, so here are all the palettes I'm getting rid of. So we've got one, two, they can go to my niece. Uh, maybe three, four can go to her as well. See if she wants that all matte one, so six. So six to her, and we're definitely going to be decluttering these. They're too old to give to her, even t just to play with. They're just so, so old, um, and I wouldn't feel comfortable uh, like trying to put eyeshadow on. That's really old and is clearly expired. Um, so we've got six. I think these are all right. Let's just test this one. I know this is on the older side. I'm just going to test the formula. Yeah, it's still really creamy. Um, so yeah, the six there, uh, if she wants them, um, I know she did get some makeup for her birthday so she might not want them, but knowing her she will. Um, but yeah, there's six eyeshadows there, so they've gone out of the collection, so eight, eight eyeshadow palettes have been decluttered today. I didn't expect to be decluttering them too, 
and this um, I just thought I was going to declutter this one um, so yeah I've done better than I thought I know it's not a lot and I know that I'm it I know I need to go through my collection at some point and declutter more um, it's just I've got so many in there um, yeah I mean I have done I do I don't do great big giant declutters what I do is I do like quite lots of like declutters throughout the year so yeah um, but this one is one that I didn't think that I was doing um, so yeah I'm happy with the little amount I have decluttered. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. It really does mean a lot to me and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.